Buying a diamond can be very confusing and overwhelming, but no worries because in this video I will show you step by step how to find the most valuable diamond within your budget. I will give you tips and tricks so you'll know exactly what you pay for. This is the same process I follow to find the best diamonds for my clients. So let's start. The first way to save a lot of money and get the best diamond is to buy online. Online retails like James Allen allow you to get the same ring for up to 30% less than the price you would have paid in stores. James Allen specifically offers a huge selection of diamonds, both earth created and lab created, and all their diamonds are photographed in 360 HD videos. So click on the link below this video and let's start with the research. The first step when looking for a diamond is to narrow down your options based on your budget. By defining your budget from the start, you'll know what you look for. There will always be a larger diamond with better quality. Don't get carried away and know your limits. You should look for the nicest diamond you can afford. Your budget will have the most impact over the size of the diamond, the clarity and color. The average consumer invests $5,000 on the diamonds so we will use it as an example. Go to the price bar and type your maximum budget. After defining our budget, we need to find the right combination between the four C's, carat, color, clarity and cut. This is true for both natural and labor diamonds. The next step is to choose your carat weight. The carat weight is probably the most important choice to take in mind when choosing a diamond, mainly because it has a strong wow effect. After deciding what is your budget, you'll know if you have enough money for achieving this effect. But make sure to do a little spying and try to find out what is your loved one's minimum expectations. Remember, you don't want to make her disappointed. Some couples decide to choose the diamond together, in this case you can ask her directly. But if you want to surprise her with the ring, you can try to ask her close friends and family. In most cases, the bigger the better. If you want to have a diamond size comparison and see how it looks on the finger, you can enter to any diamond page and click on the carat size preview tool. This feature allows you to control the size of the diamond on the ring so you'll have a better understanding of how it looks in reality. Remember, as you go down with color and clarity grades, you'll be able to get a larger diamond for your budget. But again, the idea is to find the right combination between the four C's. The next step is to choose your diamond shape. Another thing we need to find out when spying is what diamond shape your loved ones wants to get. This is of course a matter of taste. Some want the classic crown shape, which is the most common one, while others prefer different shapes, also known as fancy shapes, such as princess cut, cushion, oval and others. Note that different shapes have different pricing. Usually, round shapes cost more than fancy shapes, but not significantly. So for our example, I will look for round diamond, which leads us to the next step, choosing the ideal color grade. As you may already know, most common diamonds have colors ranging from M to D, when M is lower color grade and D is the highest. The range includes 10 different grades and we are going to split them into three groups. The first group is faint tint, MLK. This group shows a yellow tint even to the naked eye, nearly colorless J, I, H and G. This group shows minimal amount of yellow tint, some will even appear as colorless to the naked eye. And the third group, colorless diamonds, FED, the highest colors in the chart. When shopping for a diamond, make sure the diamond looks white relative to its settings. Meaning, if you choose a white gold or platinum ring, you should choose a J diamond or better. The diamond should stand out as the brightest main focal point of the ring. In case you go with yellow or rose gold ring, you can look for a lower graded color. If you choose to go with a natural diamond, you might need to compromise on lower color in order to get a larger diamond. If you choose to go with a lab grown diamond, don't compromise and look for the highest color grades. Lab diamonds are much more affordable, so there is no reason for getting a lower color graded diamond. For this example, I will look for a near colorless diamond, J, I, H. The next step is to choose the optimal clarity grade. When choosing a diamond, you need to keep in mind an important fact. Some of the diamond's flaws are invisible to the naked eye, while some are visible. Depends on your budget, you can find a lower graded clarity diamond which has flaws that a naked eye simply cannot see. By doing so, you are saving money that can be invested in a larger diamond with higher color. The lowest grade I will go for is SI2. Many of them have flaws that any naked eye can see, but some are what we call an eye clean diamonds, meaning a naked eye cannot see their flaws. 
If you go with a large diamond, 1.5 carat or above, I recommend to go with VS2 grade and higher, since flaws are much more noticeable to the naked eye on larger diamonds. Moving to the last step, don't compromise on the triple X and choose the right cut. Cut is the most complex factor. This grade gives an assessment of how well proportioned a diamond is and how well it interacts with light. An ideal cut diamond has more brightness, fire and brilliance compared to the one that has poorer cut. There are three main factors that impact the diamond's cut quality. Proportions, the ratio and size of the diamond's depth, width and table. Symmetry, the precision of a finished diamond shape and facet placements, and last, polish, the overall degree of smoothness of each facet of diamonds and how it affects the shining glow. For a round shaped diamond, save your time, don't compromise, and simply look for the triple X. Ideal cut, excellent polish, and excellent symmetry. And most importantly, make sure the diamond looks great using the super zoom feature. You'll get the best looking diamond, the kind that reflects the light, shines and glows. For fancy shapes, look for cut, symmetry and polish which are graded as very good or excellent. Again, most importantly, make sure the diamond looks great using the super zoom feature. After filtering the diamonds, you need to decide what is more important for you, size, color or clarity. For our example, I will choose two diamonds. The largest diamond within our budget and the small diamond with better color and clarity. So we've narrowed down our options to two options. If you want to get a larger diamond and you are short on budget, consider getting a diamond with faint to medium fluorescence. Fluorescence refers to the reaction between the diamond and a UV light. This reaction changes the appearance of the diamond's color. The faint in grades can get brighter appearance from the face of view, while on the side view it may cause to a stronger yellow tint. The nearly colorless or colorless diamonds will get a stronger yellow tint, so if you go with those grades, choose fluorescence none. Diamonds with fluorescence are much more affordable, so you can save money or invest it on a larger diamond, but there is a better way to get a better diamond. Doesn't matter if you have a low budget or high budget, a Lebgren diamond will give you more bang for your buck. You'll get a larger diamond, higher color and clarity and excellent cut for the same cost. If you don't know what is a Lebgren diamond, watch my other video, Lebgren diamonds with natural diamonds, where I do a side by side comparison. I will put a link in the description. While doing the research, you can always switch between f created to lab created diamonds and compare the diamonds you can get for your budget. So try to narrow down your options to three options. The largest earth created diamond you can get, a smaller earth created diamond with better color and clarity, and the best lab grown diamond you can get for the same budget. Each person have different preferences, so choose what is right for you. All diamonds on this video are from the same vendor which I found is the most competitive and has the best diamond preview technology. You can click on the link below to see their full diamond gallery offering around 300,000 different diamonds, natural and lamb grown for any budget. This vendor is the only one who has the super zoom feature which is the same feature we use to inspect each diamond on this video. They have a 30 day return policy, no question asked, so you can order the diamond, see it in person and decide if you want to keep it or not. In any case, I'm on your side. If you need any help picking the best diamond within your budget, contact me and I'll do the hard work for you for free. Tell me your budget and I'll do the research. Remember, each diamond is unique and the best are selling fast. If you like a diamond, contact customer service and ask to put it on hold for you until you make your final decision. If you want to learn more about diamonds, go to labdiamondsreview.com.